think. Okay. Just double checking. This is always an interesting exploration of playing the Facebook Live. Oh, that was an outside voice. Let me just let me start over. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Welcome to my daily broadcast at number 333, and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, formal introduction first. If you haven't seen my broadcast, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do a talk on Facebook Live, yes, every day. And they're called, the overarching title is Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's is number 333. Symbology is somewhere in there, I'm sure. And I'm calling them one to, the one today, um, Stop Chasing Love and Open Up to Love. And there's a PS in there, which is about... Um, don't go chasing love. No, what was the other? There were three, I did three parts in there. Okay. I'm trying to get stuff set up. But anyway, bottom line is this. Um, particularly for the ladies who are watching this, this one's really for you, as um, many of you ladies out there I know have been pursuing and chasing love. And I'm not sure we can hear that siren in the background, but it's very apropos to have that siren happening now, because it's kind of the idea that you're chasing like you're in, in a car chase, attempting to catch the love that you want, and it's really the in. in ineffective approach. So let me break some things down for you because I'm, I'm going to speak to a bigger topic inside inside around this one. Um, and thanks for being here and thanks for saying hi, for saying hi and thanks for being on, uh, in this broadcast. Um, I'm attempting to make these 4.30 p.m. Pacific time every day and I'm doing pretty good with that. Sometimes I miss but I'm getting back on track again. And these daily talks are meant to inspire, um, educate, inform and entertain ideally um, you around the areas of love, relationships, romance, purpose, passion, stuff like that. That should have been earlier, but now I'm doing it now. So, this whole thing about love. When, particularly for ladies out there watching this, when you are busy chasing down love, trying to capture it, trying to get it, you're actually doing things wrong. Yes, wrong. Well, in, ineffectively. Um, I talked yesterday the day before about choosing to be in the feminine. I know I talked on Saturday about why ladies, you are continuing to date weak men. And I use musical chairs as an analogy, which if you watch that, you might get some value out of that. This is kind of like another part of that conversation in a way, because I'm speaking to the fact that when you're chasing and pursuing ladies, you're doing what the men do. You're actually embodying the male hunter modality versus being the feminine attractor modality. And so the overarching recommendation for this is open up to loving yourself. And, and this has just two benefits, three, two or three. Let me see what happens. <clears throat> By the way, if you've never seen my broadcast before, they're never scripted. So I don't bullet points. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get everything done. But I think there's three keys in this one. So let me see where I go. So first of all, when you open up to love, you stop being needy. And ladies, you know when you're being needy, it's a dangerous place to play because you end up getting what you don't want. And I'm not getting into that because you know better than I do what that feels like. So I'll leave that one in your hands. So one, you don't, you're not caught up in a neediness for a relationship, for love, for any of that stuff. The second thing is, is also you become more fulfilled and actually become more um, whole. As you was responding to a, um, a reporter request earlier today, and one thing he talked about was, is when someone says to you that you complete them, that's a good sign to run away. Because if someone's looking for you to complete them, first of all, first of all they could be a body snatcher, but, <laughs> which is kind of a weird idea. But secondly, they're in the framework where they don't think they hold themselves. And it's a codependent model, which is never good for anybody, including you. So, back to the, to the second point. Opening up to love really helps you fill up yourself and feel full and feel whole and feel authentic so you become more independent and not requiring someone to make you feel okay. The third piece, three or three, it's good to remember, is that what happens is you become more attractive. What a concept. doesn't matter what, about, it's not so much about your makeup, your dress, your hair and all the other things. When you've opened up to love inside yourself, you become, to be, you become or begin to become more radiant, more attractive, more noticeable more um, inviting to the male energy, the masculine energy, to pursue you, to chase after you, to go, wow, she's cute, and work from there. So 
Open up to love is a very powerful way for you ladies in particular to turn on that attracting energetic. And I'm being somewhat vague with that because there's a lot more pieces to the puzzle and it's not that sim- necessarily that simple, but it's a big piece of the puzzle. So chasing after love is not healthy for women. It's what we men do, but except we're in a trap when we do that too because we should also remember for ourselves, for men who are watching this, we also can open up the love inside ourselves because when we come from a place of wholeness, as in we are in love as a being state versus a empty void looking to fill up from outside, which many people do, men and women, when we do that as men, I say this in a nice way, we tend to find when we meet women, and ladies, you can bear me out on this, and men want to listen to this one too, when we're already in a place of wholeness and love ourselves, we're not as hungry. And ladies, when you, we're hungry, you don't like that. It's not cool, it's not, cool, it's not polite, it's not pleasant. So when we as men are owning that place of love in ourselves, we come from a place of overflow and wholeness. And when we're around ladies, we can show interest and invitation and be interested in about them. But the, um, I'll say the sharp edges is not really where to put it. But the reality is that for you ladies, you'll have a much more um, pleasant experience. <laughs> I'm being very, I'm couching this very, very um, circumspectly, circumspectly, in a very circumspect way. I'm going to play another way. So I'm, I'm, there's a piece I want to get through, and just bear with me, because there's a piece trying to come through, and I'm not getting it clear. So let me try and shift slightly and see if I can get it through this way. When both genders, let me just summarize for both, when men and women both are opening up to love inside themselves, as in filling up from within, filling up inside, neither one of us are coming, coming across from a place of need and have to have and or dominance or push or challenge. We come from a place of overflow. And as I've said many times before, and it's in my book and I take it about other places too, relationships aren't 50-50. So if you come from a place of lack, of not having enough, and wanting that person to complete you, make you whole, make you feel brand new, all these different ways of being codependent, nobody wins. Actually, it sucks, to be blunt. Because what's happening, literally, is the other person sucking your energy to fill themselves up because they're not whole themselves. So when you open up to love, and also the other person opens up to love, there's a fullness here. The relationship becomes one, not 50-50, but 100-100. And that's where a healthy relationship can be birthed. There's another piece in here. It's coming. I'm just downloading lots of pieces, so bear with me. So for ladies and men, in the attracting, pursuing, energetic ladies you will get to attract when you're in your fullness and fullness of love, you can actually in a place where you can invite that in, but you have a great level of um, wholeness. This is a piece, by the way, for ladies. A man can't invade the space that you hold when you're full inside yourself. Now, he could, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about physically, we can be pushy, and, and don't, that's a whole other conversation, that's a part of the Me Too conversation too. But when a man is wanting to be with you and you're full and whole, he cannot do that unless you let him. Your wholeness, your fullness of filling up with love from inside gives you an, a sense of power and autonomy that doesn't leave yourself open to... Um, an invasive energy, and I'm using this in a, it's a, it's a psychic, or it's a energetic piece I'm talking about here, but the reality is for men and women in the dating, when it's a man and woman talking to each other in a bar, there's a lot more energy going on besides what's being said, so this is a piece for you to understand, for you ladies as well, that as you fill up with love from inside, you become whole, your ability to discern, define and declare what you want, your ability to hold space for yourself so you feel whole, and your ability to attract what you really want is much more heightened. And for men, when you do the same thing, when you fill up with love from inside, when you become whole and you are happy in who you are, it's like not, it, it's like not being a vampire anymore. Because ladies feel it from men. When we are in a place where we're not whole and not remembering who we really are, it can be very painful for women to receive that sort of attention because men are coming from a place of, of grabbing and taking and... and is frankly, it's what underpins a lot of what's been happening with the Me Too conversation. Because many men haven't learned how to respect and love themselves. And so they keep thinking they're going to get it from the women. Not cool. There's another piece, I think, in here. I'm going to just give you another pass. So, talk about women, talk about men, talk about both interaction and playing. 
Thank you, Karen. Right. Um, yes. Well, that's, that's this is the thing. Yes, you, I like the picture I'm painting about filling up being whole from the inside. This is the mistake so many people make. And unfortunately, we've been programmed that way by all the love songs and the movies and these cliches that make us think that we're not going to be whole or complete until the other person shows up in our lives. I mean, come on. Jerry Maguire, you, make, you complete me. Bullshit. <laughs> You're not walking around a half a person waiting for the half a person to meet up. And any, if you did, it'd only be one person, not two. So where's the value in that? Truly, healthy relationship is two whole people coming together, making a greater um, gestalt of the relationship that's greater than some of the parts. But most people don't play that way. And if you've been in the dating world, you've probably experienced this for yourself, where you've actually had the experience more than once, frankly, I certainly have, of finding people you're attracted to or finding people you're interested in, let's put it that way, not necessarily attracted to, but interested in, or interested in you, who feel like they're coming along with this, this, this um, empty void they want to fill up and they want to suck energy out of you doing it. It's like to say vampires, energy vampires, basically. Yeah, codependency is definitely romanticized, and it's, it's got to change, at least, well, I'm attempting to change it myself. <laughs> so let's just say that. The paradigm I'm passionate about, sharing about, inspiring about, is what I call, what I've learned from one of my teachers with, with Warrior Sage, is interdependency. So it's not independence, it's not codependence, it's interdependency where we're both whole, but we add to each other from the overflow, from the abundance, from the fullness of who we are. That is a healthy relationship. And I think that was about it. Is there anything else on this that comes through? Bear with me for a second. I'm just, just rewinding and make sure I covered the bits of the puzzle. I'm watching the clock in my head too because I've got a, um, an interview that's going to happen at five, at 5 o'clock my time, which will be aired soon, I think. I'm going to find out when it's going to be aired, but I'll be interviewed then. So... I'll make sure I give you all I can for this before I sign off. Fill up the love, don't chase love. Ah, one more thing. One more thing. A little PS. If you feel... If you feel that you don't deserve love or that you feel that you're lacking love yourself, first of all, you're actually lying to yourself. You may believe yourself being unworthy because of some past judgments, some past resentments, some past guilt, some past feelings of failure. The simple answer I'd say is, as, as Bob Newhart would say, is stop it. But the reality is, is that when you fill up from love from the inside, you can start washing through those um, limiting beliefs that are no longer serving you. Everybody, everybody is deserving of love and everybody has the ability to love inside. Some people are very screwed up with that because of their past traumas and, and challenges. But for anybody watching this, I hope to think that you have the ability to change that so you can fill up with love from inside. And when you do that, you become, again, more attractive, more um, whole, and you get to discern and define what you really want. And with that, I think I've finished this topic for this moment. Um, again, the broadcast, I, in fact, the two broadcasts, three, two, two broadcasts, Saturday and Friday I did, which are 3.30, 3.31, I think. So three three three, yeah. I highly recommend you watch that. You're very welcome, Karen. Thanks for watching. And we, we, we'll be talking soon, soon I trust. Um, Fridays and Saturdays, I keep talking on those because those two landed for me. They were very on point. Uh, Thursday, Fridays was about... Um, oh, boy. <laughs> Friday, Saturday. I'm making it in the wrong order. Friday and Saturday is the two broadcasts. One was about ladies, if you're still dating weak men, here's why. And now I definitely recommend that. Saturday, I think. Friday's broadcast, so that was 3 30. 3 was. Oh, why men won't commit. So those are juicy ones. I recommend you watch those two. Yesterday's was about being a helicopter. <laughs> that was about coaching. So if you want to watch that one, I recommend it's a short broadcast. That was only like a six, seven minute talk. That was a very quick one. Explaining why coaching really works. The yeah, Ghosting Men, that was the one on um, Friday. Yes, yes, Marsha, that was, that was Friday's. That was 3.30. So the last three I recommend watching before this one. So 3.30, 3.31, 3.32. I highly recommend you might watch. There's some value in those for all of you, men and women. Um, and coaching, I explained more clearly in the one from yesterday, 3.32. Thank you for being with me this one. I do have to sign off because I've got to get ready for my next uh, appointment. 
um, well, interview. And uh, that's it. Again, reminders. You don't have to go this alone. If you're feeling stuck, you're feeling challenged, you're feeling like you want to find out how to love more, be it more whole, heal the past, the trap where you want in a relationship, that's my passion, that's my service, it's my gift. Sign up for a, a complimentary conversation. I call it complimentary clarity conversation. It's a discovery session, my gift to you. It's a 30 minute conversation to help you get where you want to go and get some clarity on how you get there. If you go to my website, which is barryselby.com, you can click on the Let's Chat navigation choice in the menu and sign up for it right there. If you have questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. If you want to share it with anybody you think you should see this, please share it with them. I appreciate that. As always, um, you find my broadcast on my business page, which is Barry Selby, the author on Facebook, or on my YouTube channel, which is where they end up as well, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Message for the Masculine. And again, my site is barryselby.com. My name's pretty much everywhere. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me, and your homework tonight. Yes, it's about time. I didn't give homework over the weekend, but today I will. As it's about love. Take the time to put your hand over your heart and tell yourself you love you. It sounds silly, it sounds ridiculous, but it works. Do this for five minutes. Take, take some time, put your hand over your heart and connect to yourself and say, I love you, to yourself. You can do it in the mirror, you can do it wherever you are, maybe in private. But if you do that, it will change your life. Especially if you do 30 days. Do this regularly, every day, 30 days. It will change your life. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow.